Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my video response series, and today we're going to be responding to Retro Rivals. So Scott and Jen of Retro Rivals decided to make a video about all of their favorite franchises, and they invited people to do video response. So um, guess what? This is a video response. So I really liked a lot of the things that, that they already mentioned. Um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, I am a big Castlevania fan. More specifically, I like these, the Metroidvania subgenre within the series. Uh, and of course, my favorite is Symphony of the Night. Uh, now, Street Fighter is another one of my favorite series. Although I kind of fall off, fell off uh, after, was it Street Fighter 3? But my favorite is Super Street Fighter 2. Uh, I absolutely loved that version of the game. It was one of the first times that they truly introduced newer characters. Uh, my favorite happened to be Cammy, just because I loved the idea of just grappling someone out of anything that they were doing and ruining their day on that. Next up, we have Halo. Halo's a game changer. It is, it defined a genre for console. It, it is the console shooter. And my favorite for it is Halo 3 ODST. Uh, I believe it has the strongest story. And uh, that, that just desperation of trying to survive in that game and just being completely ammo starved and knowing that you're not the Master Chief just put an extra edge on the game for me. Next up, we're going to have the Darius series. And I mean, I could say Darius Gaiden, I can say G Darius, I could say uh, Sagaya on the, the Game Boy Color, I believe, or I think it might have been the original Game Boy. The point is, is I love shooting robotic fish in space. And, you know, it's really kind of hard to pick a favorite there. Next, Ratchet and Clank. Oh man, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna pick a favorite here, but I, I know that I should pick a favorite. I just can't, I can't. I love it all. It is way too much over the top fun. I can't, I can't tell you how much fun that the Ratchet and Clank series is for me. All right. Moving on, we have Batman Arkham. This is one of the first times that I feel that like a hero game got it right. Uh, they, they did everything perfectly. They, there was a reason why things happened like in, in Arkham Asylum, which is my favorite, you had to take all of your weapons off and stuff and it was just like all right you're batman and you're still batman but you don't have all of your gadgets so you have to like go and get them back and do things and stuff it is just masterfully done uh next up raiden series uh i think i lean more towards raiden fighters aces uh just because like of the variety that you can get in that game now we're going to move on to forza horizon series and specifically yes that sub series uh i love how you can tinker with the cars and you can drift pretty well uh, i did buy a steering wheel for it i'm not very good with the steering wheel but i'm planning on getting better uh, my favorite in the series, probably Forza Horizon 3. And that's mostly because it's probably the first one that I've played. Um, 
Next up, Blaster Master. And I know this is kind of cheating, but I really enjoy Blaster Master Zero. It is, it's a good homage to the original on the NES. Now I do love the NES version quite a bit, but all of the improvements in the Zero series are just chef's kiss, like just mm, so good. Now, we get into some more heavier things. Uh, Mega Man X, yes, I know a lot of people want to say, what, you mean you don't like the Mega Man series? Yeah, not really so much. I liked, I liked the speed and, and various improvements that Mega Man X had for me personally versus the normal series. And my favorite is Mega Man X4. All right, so Fantasy Star Online. You guys know, you know me, I've had videos about this in the past. I love Fantasy Star Online. It was essentially my gateway drug towards playing MMOs. And I got to play a bunch with friends when everyone was going off to co different colleges around the around the world and it was just it was just a great game at the time i still love booting it up every once in a while and my absolute favorite is one and two plus on the gamecube now for a game that brought me back to gaming it's final fantasy tactics this game has beautiful music the, the whole series has beautiful music it has a great uh combat system the job class system in the first one is just beyond compare and that's why the original ps1 version of the game is my absolute favorite and then we're going to move on to bloody roar series and i mean it's a 3D fighter. You get to beat people up playing as these were creatures. Uh, this is a game I played so much that I ran through and I started mastering multiple characters. And, you know, it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's very underground. It, it just feels like you've discovered this personal treasure when you play it. And my favorite is still the original PS1 uh, release. Speaking of fighting games, we're going to go ahead and jump over to one of my other favorites is uh, Guilty Gear. And I absolutely love Guilty Gear. I love the music. I love the characters. I've been learning a little bit more about the backstory and stuff recently. Uh, I mainly just played the game because I enjoyed the game. But now I'm getting into the backstory and it's really kind of interesting. Um, and just, man, the series is just so good. Uh, and just the different variations and all of the new characters and how they change and stuff. But my absolute favorite is Guilty Gear X. And then we're going to round it off with Armored Core. Armored Core is a very large series and has lovely improvements across the board everywhere. But if you ask me today, I'd have to say Armored Core 6 is my favorite just because I really like all the customizable stuff. I like the idea of how it doesn't hold back on you. And if you make, uh, if you make tactical or strategic mistakes that no matter how good your tactics are, you're done. So it's, it's two ways to, that you have to go through and just master the game. You have to master building your core, your armored core, and then you have to master using your armored core and even master using different armored cores. But man, that's, that's going to be it. Uh, I absolutely loved this topic and Jen basically challenged me to, you know, make a reply video and, and this is it. Um, you know, 
Thanks for doing this, Jen. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the next video. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.